Hi guys, I'm Sneha and you are watching my channel Book Junction. Now I know I have not been able to upload many videos in the past two weeks. So the area where I live, we were going through a really bad internet shutdown. So that's why I couldn't upload anything for the first one and a half week, I guess. And then I got occupied with some other work which uh, because of which I could not upload anything. But I had actually shot a video which I wanted to upload from the longest of time but I just couldn't because of the internet thing and even though the internet uh, came back I it was so slow that it was not really possible to upload anything but anyway um, the video that I uh, shot I did not feel like uploading it right now because we are at the end of the year and I wanted to upload this video so that's why I'm shooting this video right now and I want to upload it just before the year ends. And uh, you have already read the title, you know what the video is going to be all about. So these are some of the New Year's resolution that I am going to take and I feel like these resolutions are actually going to make some difference in the quality of my life. And that's why I felt like if you are also looking for some resolution ideas, you can actually take these up for your next year. And basically these resolutions are not going to be, you know, going to the gym, learning a new language or quitting a bad habit because every year we sort of make those resolutions. But somehow or the other, we are not really able to um, comply by, by them or we are not really able to uh, fulfill those resolutions. But I feel like these resolutions that I have thought about for the 2020 I think I'm actually going to implement these because these are all about self-development and self-growth. Um, and I think that these resolutions are actually going to count and actually make a difference in the quality of life that I will be living. And that's why I thought that why not share it with you guys. Also, I'm sitting here to record this video and not in front of my bookshelf where I usually record all my sit down videos. It's because in that room, it is too loud like all the kids are out in the ground playing badminton and it's it's terrible like i know they're enjoying their life and i want them to have the time of their life because you know it's not really going to come back and they, they should they should play and have fun but it is causing a lot of noise and that's why i'm sitting over here and trying to ignore all that shouting and screaming so if you hear any of that Please try to ignore because it's not possible to have a soundproof house. So yeah, now without making this introduction too long so that it becomes unbearable, let's get into the video and let's talk about all the resolutions that I am going to um, fulfill in 2020. So my first resolution is going to be self-compassionate. Now, it's pretty easy to understand what is self-compassion. It's being compassionate towards yourself. And, um, you know, all of the other elements, for example, self-confidence, self-esteem, and all of that, it sort of uh, flows to you automatically once you have reached that place of self-compassion. I think self-compassion is the first step towards becoming a really amazing person and that's why i really want to be a self-compassionate person i want to grow self-compassion within me because it's important to be uh, compassionate towards yourself um so the thing the idea is basically not being harsh towards yourself not being too hard on yourself being being a friend to yourself first and uh, then thinking about all your flaws so there are times when you just feel like a loser you just feel like a failure and uh, there are days when you have uh, really bad memories when nothing goes as planned and you sort of beat yourself up for that you you just think about all the negative things about you and just imagine if a friend comes to you feeling like that you will never be harsh with them you will never be hard on them right so why is it that when it comes to us we are so hard on ourselves and if we lose something we call ourselves losers so I think that's why I really want to be a self-compassionate person. I um, I make mistakes. I, I, I feel guilty a lot of times. I regret things. But uh, the point is, it's okay if I do mistakes, if I commit some blunders. At the end of the day, I'm a human being and I should be compassionate towards myself. So that's the idea. And I feel like if you are also looking for one resolution for 2020, it should be to become a self-compassionate person because you are going to make a lot of mistakes. Um, in your life and you cannot sort of help it um, we are all human beings and um, so yeah 
feel guilty whatever it is at the end of the day you have to live with yourself for the longest of time until you are dead and uh, you want to be a safe home for yourself so first be a safe place for yourself only then you will be a safe place for others as well i guess so that's why i want to be a self compassionate person in 2020 now this next resolution is sort of uh, something i have been thinking from a long time and it is basically to start expecting from people and from things now i know ever since our childhood we are told by great people that we should not expect and that expectation is the root cause of pain and suffering which can be true and which then i think is quite a toxic thing as well i think expectations are important you have to expect from people from things from yourself because that's how you set standards for yourself now just imagine you are in a friendship you are in a relationship you are living with the family and you have to expect something from them you have to expect some basic level of self respect you have to um expect love from them you have to expect them being there for you when you need them and i think that is how you set standards for yourself and that's why i i'm talking about this point so much because stop being the person who does not expect anyone anything from anyone and keeps on being there for others as much as they want that's how people take advantage of you that's how people know that you sort of don't really have any standards for yourself and uh, people come and exploit you you are then left you know wounded and scarred for life and it's not really a good idea so in 2020 i want you guys to know that start expecting uh, so if it's a friendship start expecting good good things for them now i'm not saying that you have to expect um, receiving gifts or surprises i'm not talking about material things you cannot sort of expect material things from people but i'm talking about emotional availability emotional expectations we all have some emotional needs and uh, we need those needs to be fulfilled by our people and um, that's why set standards for you if you are someone who needs a lot of emotional attention um emotional support then you surround yourself with such people who will be able to give you that and who will not make you and who will not make you feel guilty for being uh, the person who needs uh, emotional attention so that's how you set standards so if you have such needs you're open about it you have set such expectations and when you meet someone or you are friends with someone you are able to share it with them that yes i have some emotional needs and you have to uh, like be available for me when i need your support because i will be there for you right so when you are there for uh, there for someone start expecting that they will also be there so when you see that there is a lot of variance between the way you guys treat each other like when they need you you are there but when you need them they are not really there don't tell yourself that i shouldn't have expected tell yourself that this was my standard and they could not really um they were not really good enough so you know what you have to do then so this is the second resolution in my life and i would love if you guys accept it as well my next resolution is to make myself the center of my universe now this is not to sound obnoxious this is not to sound self absorbed or anything as such it's mostly about um making yourself really important in your life so it's about making yourself biggest in your life it is important to make yourself bigger in your life i know in our life sometimes we are like we make others so important we make our work so important we make our goals so important that somewhere or the other in our lives we somehow become really smaller and uh, that doesn't make sense because whatever you are doing if it's a friendship if it's your success goals if you if it's your work whatever you are doing you are basically doing for yourself it is for you and if somehow you become smaller in this entire landscape then i don't really see the point anymore and that's why i want you guys uh, to make yourself the center of your universe a lot of times we are like we we just value other people a lot and we make them so big in our life that we sort of become really small it becomes all about them their people their friends their life their goals their problems and nothing is 
about you anymore in your own life and and of course it's it happens because of the way you treat them and uh, you cannot really blame them you sort of will blame yourself for this but you can always correct it right so i think that is what is important um to make yourself the center and whatever it is your goals your life your work your friends your relationships everyone will sort of revolve around you you are the main person here you are the protagonist of your story never forget that stop becoming the sidekick you're not the sidekick in your own story you can be a sidekick in someone else's story but that's a different thing you are the protagonist you're the main lead in your story and you have to know that so stop uh, sort of fading away so uh, stop giving others so much value that you forget yourself um s- just stop doing that and make yourself the center of your universe now my next resolution is to be with compatible people now i don't want to say that some people are good and some people are bad i just feel that everyone is really unique and you cannot sort of divide them into black and whites everyone is pretty much gray and they have their own tones and shades so some people are going to be fit for you some people are going to be misfit for you and you have to sort of identify who you really want to be with you know like even friendship and just everything in general so maybe you are in a classroom with a lot of people and you would want to be with compatible people now compatibility is not only limited to romantic relationships it's it's sort of there for everything and everywhere you have to be with compatible people because otherwise there's no point um you have your own emotional needs you have your own needs you you expect certain things again the standards that you have set for yourself so you have to keep that in mind and accordingly you are going to let those people enter into your life who you think are going to be compatible enough so if you are a person who needs a lot of expression when you are someone who needs other people to express their love and friendship for you when you are someone who is a talker who likes to talk about things then you are going to expect other other people to do that so why not let those people only enter into your life who you think are compatible enough for you who who you know that they are going to be expressive they are going to express what they feel and they are going to be open about themselves they are not going to be closed and uh, i think that is important because when you are someone who needs a lot of expression and you are friends with someone who is is closed and who is reserved and it's good for them that's okay that's how they cope but they are not compatible for you you are somewhere going to feel really left out you are somewhere going to feel really terrible a lot of times and it will eventually get toxic you would want you would want them to open up you would want them to share and they will not be able to do that and it will get really messy so i just want you guys to um sort of let those people enter and stay in your life who are going to be compatible to your needs and that's exactly what i'm going to do in my life as well and uh, yeah that's how we live that's how we know that these people are good for us everyone is not going to be good for everyone you can be the best person in the world but if your needs and my needs do not match then it's going to be a weird friendship it's going to be a weird relationship and uh, and that's all so my last resolution is to stop overwhelming my mind with people and information about people i think this is one of the major reasons why a lot of us are not living a happy life i wouldn't say that i'm not living a happy life i think i'm happy on most days i think i'm living a really great life i should be grateful and i am um but you know just to just to improve the quality of my life i would say that i would not want to overwhelm myself with information about people and just in general with a lot of people now i know a lot of people think that networking will make them stand out that if you have a bigger social circle then it means that you are something and that it's important to have a social circle well it's not really true if you don't enjoy it then it does not make sense if you're really a people's person then that's a different thing but you know just having thousands of na- thousands of names on your contact list having a lot of facebook friends talking to everyone on instagram is not going to make you happy if if it's not meant for you so i have sort of like deleted most of my contact numbers who i don't want to connect with or who i don't really talk to uh, like literally right now 
at this moment i only have 20 contact numbers on my whatsapp because that's how close i want it to be because i only want to keep those people in my contact list who i talk to or who i would want to talk to i don't want to keep those names on my contest contact list who i never talk to and yet i'm seeing their status and what they are doing their whereabouts and i don't really have anything to do you know with them or their life and yet i'm seeing what they're doing in their life it's weird right you you don't really talk to a person they mean nothing to you and yet you know what they are doing every single day it's so stupid and it, it does not make sense at least to me it doesn't so that's why i deleted most of the contact numbers i have only 20 people and now when i go to my whatsapp list i know that yes i can ping these people anytime i want and i can actually talk to them even on social media like on facebook you have this unfollow thing so i have unfollowed a lot of people i really don't want to know their whereabouts what they're doing and what they're not doing it has nothing to do with me i am just following those pages and those people who really mean something to me and sometimes you would also want to unfollow people who affect you drastically so i sort of have unfollowed a lot of people also on instagram stop watching stories of people who you know who are not really important for you and who who are who you're not really gonna talk to who are not really going to be in your life when you really need them why are you seeing where they are why do you want to know what they are doing in your life in their life when they really mean nothing to you and at the end of the day you would only want to be with people who are there for you again standards so I think all of these resolutions are close knitted. They all are self explanatory, yet I explained them because I want to make them really clear. And uh, I think each one supports the other. So if I'm able to actually, you know, fulfill all of these, then I feel like I, the quality of my life will pretty much be increased. And I'm actually working on all of these like right now not i'm not waiting for the first january to do these but i'm sort of doing it from now onwards and i just want the quality of my mental health to be really great and uh, i think mental health is going to be one of the most important things for us in the coming decade because life is getting overwhelming there is so much information there is so much chaos everywhere it's it's so difficult for anyone to be happy these days because it's very uh, messed up actually um so yeah these were my resolutions and i really hope that you liked this video i think i think i only added those resolutions i feel will be fit for everyone and everyone can take something from this video if you have watched it till the end i'm really thankful that you are here still watching this video and uh, yeah that was all so let's see what happens in 2020 i have so many standards that i have set for myself for 2020 expectations guys i am expecting good things and um, i think i deserve so that is the best thing i could say i guess so that was all for today's video i really hope that you guys enjoyed it and found it valuable if you did then do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you're notified with all the notifications and i'll see you in 2020 until then goodbye